This is Houston. Say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks, welcome you all to part 5 of Dragon's Dogma 2 on the Xbox Series X. We are exactly where we were people, and I'm going to move because this guy is getting right on me tits. <laughs> Hello sir, how can I help you? It's like Jesus Christ keeps saying it over and over again. Uh, did we speak to this guy? Bjorn. Bjorn again, I don't think so. Find only pieces of the finest quality line these shelves. Hmm. Unfortunately, Bjorn, I have no coin. Quality is what you need if you want to survive. So, before you check the price, just remember, misers die early deaths. Yeah, I've enhanced my equipment, haven't I? So, uh, let's see what he's got though. Ooh, he's got some nice stuffs. Oh, it's better armor, isn't it? Oh, mind you, that's, uh, uh, wow, that's awesome. And nearly 8,000. Yeah, I definitely want that Ranger's vest. That looks awesome, doesn't it? Well, we've got, actually, we've got 1,700. But it's not going to be enough for this guy's stuff, is it? Jesus Christ. But as we've just enhanced our gear, I think I'll just leave as as we are for now. Sprinter's boots. Yeah, way expensive. Have we, um, have we actually got one on? A neck thing on? Not sure that we have. Proper cloak. It actually looks quite smart on the Ranger. Nine grand though, Jesus Christ. For one extra defense, mind you, it's got elemental resistances and debilitation resistances on it. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm not a huge fan of how it looks, but it is giving us um, debilitation stuff for 800. That one's a bit better. It's too, I oh, can't afford it just now. Lightning resistance only by the looks of it. Snow and then debilitation. I'm assuming elemental resistance is just the damage from the element and debilitation is like freeze instead of ice, if you know what I mean. Uh, that sort of thing. But it's only like 2%. Anyway, let's crack in people. Oh, he's got a couple of rings as well. Ring of the accru Accrual. Increase the maximum amount of weight the wearer can carry. Yeah. Well, actually, we've increased the amount of weight we can carry from just increasing the uh, enhancing our equipment. To see you again. Seemed to be the case. It's going to be a bit of an investigative one, this one, I think. Ooh, uh, well, the question... Ooh, hello, what's this? From tents to blankets, chairs to cooking pots, our camping kits have aught you need for trips near and far. You'll not want to go anywhere without one. Well met, son. How might I, be of service? I have no idea if I'll get done for taking what's in this chest. Surely not. Green warish. Generally used as a material. Yeah, apothecary. I go where fortune whispers, friend. Right, okay. Well, I'm not overly sure. Uh, there's a big light bit in the middle, which is, I think, is maybe where we're meant to be going. Check out the rest of the market. <laughs> well, that music would suggest there's an inn nearby. Can't go that way. There's a ladder here. Is there? Well, the steps. <laughs> I don't even know where my party are. Never mind him saying there's a ladder here. Oh, there he is. I seem to be moving quite slow. Is that... Uh... 
Yeah, my weight seems to be a bit much again. Let's just see if I've got anything I can sell. Did I sell my old armors? Can't remember. Yeah. We do have a spare bow, which we couldn't sell for some reason. It's not that heavy, though, is it? So I can only assume it's the materials and stuff that I'm carrying about. So much for being able to carry more. <laughs> I'm only money on average. It's not like I'm. I'm not very light though. That's fine. We'll just find an inn for now. I think. My pack's grown rather heavy. How do we get up to? Uh, let's go up this way. Flashings. 400 gold. Take that. Fresh fruits for sale. Get them while they're here. Shipments like these are few and far between. Alright. Well, it was worth a little look around. What's that there? Now nothing. The star drop in. There we go. What's this all about? Lots to be taken care of. What are you up to? Here to ask all of me, are you? Welcome to the Star Drop In. We serve all manner of fine ales here. Shall I pour you a cup to start you off? A uh, buy around two thousand gold for a round. Jesus Christ! <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, <clears throat> pass the time. Whoa, that's a bit jittery. Ah, it's daytime. Lovely. <clears throat> hey! I'm not overly sure why it didn't let me do any of the proper in stuff with her. Quests, please. Speak with Captain Brant in the tavern a night. Oh, brilliant. Visit the Star Shop in a night and confer with Captain Brandt. Yeah. So I just cocked that up because I've now <laughs> I've now gone to daytime. Welcome to the Star Drop In. We serve all manner of fine ales here. Shall I pour you a cup to start you off? Pass the time. Always a pleasure. Seems to be. Hmm. Still seems to be daytime. Well, we can sit on the uh, the bench, can't we? Oh. <laughs> but the frack was the bench. I did find one. It's out here. Doze off. Looks a bit more like it. That'd be him then. Your Majesty, your timing is impeccable. I just thought to call for you. Did you now? Tis not a matter for prying ears. Pray, let us speak out here. As I informed you when last we spoke, the palace is filled with the Queen Regent's sycophants. 
Should Deesa denounce your majesty as a false arisen, few would elect to doubt her. Yet if we are to prove your identity, I believe there is no occasion more suitable than the coronation. It was delayed so that the sovereign, that is, the false arisen, could convalesce in the palace, but the date has now been set. The central players in the court ought all be in attendance. It would be a fine opportunity to display your majesty's power. None would be able to deny that you are the true arisen then. There are only select members of the nobility and citizens who have contributed greatly to Vermont's continued prosperity will be granted entry. If your majesty is to be counted among them, you will need to attend to a number of tasks. Pray, allow me to summarize them for you. Okay, tell me of monster culling, tell me of the queen regent, tell me of the magistrate, uh, tell me of the culling, uh, tell me of monster culling. The citizenry have called upon my soldiers to cull monsters that plague the land. I dare say, it would be a fine contribution were you to accomplish these tasks unaided. What say you? Might I ask for your cooperation in this matter? I thank you, your majesty. There are three locales that I've seen significant trouble of late. The first is Trevo Mine, to the northwest. We've had reports of goblins swarming in great numbers. Next is Half Village, west of Burnworth. I believe soldiers have already been dispatched to call an infestation of Saurians there. Finally, there is a call for someone to locate a group of soldiers tasked with delivering freight. They were last seen. Well, <laughs> thought he'd finished. Deal with the monster threats. Right here. Finding our strengths, we shall overcome this trial as all others. Priority quest set automatically. Monster culling. Yeah, that seems reasonable. There is much we ought to tend to if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. Tell me of the Queen Regent. You will need to infiltrate the palace to gather evidence of Deezer's misdeeds. I hesitate to ask something so dangerous of you, yet I fear we have few other options. I have attempted to do the same through my own channels before now, though I have yet to uncover so much as a whisper of her plots. Would that I could undertake the task myself, but my station prohibits me from reckless action. What say you, your majesty? Might I ask this task of you? Jesus Christ, how many... Should I take them all at once or not? It did say to be wary of that, didn't it? Because you've got to do them within a time frame. Uh, I don't know what will happen if I decline. Very well. I would not think to press you on this matter. Perhaps you would consider taking on a different task then. Yeah, uh, I, I guess maybe we can take on the Cullings first and then we'll come back for the others. Do not forget that we work to serve the citizenry. Right, so we've got three markers on the map already to go and do. So... I guess we can come back here and speak to him anytime at night, maybe. Whatever could you want from me? <laughs> I was going to ask you to play a tune. A. Well, I don't think we can sleep here, even though it is an inn, because she doesn't seem to want to. Uh... Welcome to the Star Drop Inn. We serve all manner of fine ales here. Shall I pour you a cup to... Ah, here we go, it's chat. Uh, no, it's not. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the finest brews in all of Vernworth. Uh, mind you, we don't want to go out there at night, do we? So, let's just sit. <clears throat> Well, he's still there, and it's daytime, so 
I assume we can come back and speak to him for the other quests at another time. Mind you, the lanterns are still on, so it might not be, uh, might be dawn, early dawn, or dusk. No, dawn. Ooh, guild. Greetings. Welcome to the guild hall. Here we <coughs> conduct all manner of procedures <coughs> pertaining to vocations. If there is aught I may assist you with, simply say the word. Change vocation, acquire equipped skills, give seekers tokens. You have no seekers tokens in your possession. View rewards anywhere, yes. Must have to do guild quests or something to get these tokens. There are 240 of these tokens scattered across the land, hidden in all sorts of out of the way and unexpected places. All right, okay. Bring them to the guild hall and you will receive special rewards now and then as your collection progresses. You must leave no stone unturned nor corner of the world unexplored if you would complete your collection. Nice, okay. Mind you, we did do some fighting since we acquired our skills right enough. Yeah, we've got 1500 DCP. Let's have a look. Tarring shot. Fires load, a loaded arrow with that adheres to foes or terrain. Explodes after a time or if attacked. Tarring the target and those who draw near. Usable only when carrying an applicable arrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's the same as the uh, explosive shot, isn't it? It didn't actually say that on this one, though, did it? The the exploding shot didn't say only works when you've got the appropriate arrow, did it? Whereas that tiring shot does. Usable only when carrying an applicable arrow, but the the other one doesn't say that. So maybe exploding shot does work, even if you've not got exploding arrows, I don't know. Or you only get 20 explosive shots per rest. Not sure, we'll have to check that out. Keen sight. Oh, hang on, we've got core skills as well, which we've not done anything with. Enables user to not uh, user to knock arrows more quickly when using loose or steady shot. Yeah, I might take that actually. Get a bit quicker at stuff. Uh, these core skills are just on all the time, I think. Nice. Uh. Hmm. I might be misunderstanding something here. Ah, right, okay. So this lets you if you acquire the vocation, you can sort of mix it up a bit, I guess. So you can be kind of a bit of a fighter. And uh, so you could put, for example, some of this, we can't wear some of the stuff, we'll use some of the items. But if we buy the vocation, we can then use more armor and also like equip a sword and that sort of thing. Uh, I'm not sure if we're able to do weapon sets though. So I don't know how useful that would be. I... Uh, I mean, if, it, if I was able to jump between sword and bow, that would be awesome. But I don't know if I can. I certainly didn't see anything to do with weapon sets. I'm afraid we are not accepting registration for warriors or sorcerers at this time. You see, as we currently have no archer staves or great swords on hand, we are unable to outfit new members. And we cannot simply purchase more as the delivery of arms intended for the local armory and other guilds in this domain was plundered by goblins. So regrettably, I cannot assist you. Unless... Let me see. What else can I tell you of our guild? Uh... Yeah, because that's change vocation. 
Oh, no, maybe it is. Maybe that is changing vocation then. Yeah, I'm talking nonsense. It looks like that is actually to change vocation completely. Because it's the same screen. It just happens to let you bounce to it from there. Fair enough. Uh, did we want to change any more skills, though? Let's have a look. Augments. Increases damage dealt by your attacks when targets are not in battle stance. Well, it'd be worth having, I suppose. Nice. I'm trying to decide whether... Oh, we've actually got a spare socket in A, haven't we? So we might as well take another one. I wonder if we should go for... Um, what was Dire Arrow? That was a powerful shot, wasn't it? Fires a devastating shot that knocks down smaller targets. When using Steady Shot, arrows become even more powerful if they are loosed the instant the bow is fully drawn. And that lets you aim. Yeah, we'll give that one a go. I'm not actually sure how to press Y while performing a running jump. Alright, so just run, jump and hit Y. Oh well, might as well have them. They're just on all the time, the core skills. Methinks Roderick will be able to tell you aught of the stolen shipment. He runs the local armory, and we purchase almost all of our stock from him. May fortune smile upon you, sir. And you, my friend. We shall have to scour high and low. Vocation frustration. Obtain an arch staff. <clears throat> You were advised to speak with the local armorer. Yeah, we've still got a few. We've still got that quest for the elf as well. Oh, or maybe we don't. Unless that was one we already had, right enough. You will need to procure your own weapon if you wish to register as either a sorcerer or warrior. All right, okay. So we need to get a a staff or a. Whatever. We don't don't need it though, do we? Right. Well, should we just head to one then? I'm not sure how much more there is to see around the city though. Let's just have a good look around. We need to find somewhere to store our stuff though. We're carrying a lot of stuff around. Hey, port crystal. Use of ferry stone. Use of a ferry stone will instantly transport you to the location of a port crystal. Port crystals are permanent fixtures of cities and towns, but you may also place your own port crystals at destinations of your choice. You may have up to 10 port crystals placed at various locations throughout the world at any one time. One placed a port, once placed, a port crystal can be recovered if you wish to move it somewhere else. Permanent port crystals in cities and towns must be interacted with at least once before they become available at the ferry, as ferry stone destinations. Okay, so it was worth a look around then. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. Perhaps new discoveries await us. <laughs> what is it? There was spot ladders I don't see. What bloody ladder is he looking at? Ah, there it is. No, it's not. <laughs> Got no, no bloody idea what ladder that guy is talking about.
Ah, pawn guild. Ah, is that a thingy stone? Yeah, it is a gigantic one at that. Can I speak to him? Go on, have a look. What's he got? Ambivalent Rift Incense. Only usable by a main pawn at camp. Its mysterious scent gives the pawn a different incan inclination and voice to match. All right. Changes the pawn's voice. All right, so if you want to change bits of your character, you do it through this. Yeah, sorry, bits of your pawn's character. Special tone that allows the Arisen to edit their own appearance. Ah, there you go. Yeah, so we need Rift Crystals to do that, if we wanted to. <laughs> pair of glasses, is that basically what it is? One kind of... Yeah, they must be different, surely. <laughs> There's a monocle there as well. Seeking to minimise distractions during battle. All right. Now it's showing you what they look like, so you must put them on, yeah. Very good. Many thanks. Not buying. I no. Well. There was another. There was another shop further up here, though. Browsing was enough to scratch the itch in my case. Hair, uh, hairdressers, maybe. Clovis Barbary. Welcome, good sir. My services lie in the styling of hair and the painting of faces. Should you so desire, I can help you find your truest self. Bloody hellfire. <laughs> For just a little bit of gold. Jesus Christ. I mean, we'll probably end up with a shit ton of gold later in the game, to be fair. Modify appearance seems to be free. Change hairstyle and stuff. Well, what? Mm, what? That's weird. Doesn't seem to do anything. Oh, no, wait. The modifying appearance costs one of those books that I think the one that we just looked at actually in the um, that other guild place of the other guy. It's just, it's just very di dim. So instead of coin, it's a little a little book or tome you have to give her. I see. Much obliged, sir. Very good. Come on, now. This is the most sexist game in history. Everybody calling me sir when I'm quite clearly a woman. Come on now. Right. We need to figure out... Yeah, there's a fair old amount to look at, isn't there? Estates, Rose Chateau. Gracious Hand. Ah, Shakir's in, there you go. Ooh, hello, we can set waypoints. Thank you. And there we go. Might set a waypoint to these as well, one at a time. I hope these carts offer comfort commensurate to their cost. This away. This will make a life a lot easier. Uh, 
I'm assuming it's on this level. Might not be. Hmm. Greetings. Welcome to the Guild Hall. Here no, that's not him. Manner of procedures pertaining to vocation. Ugh. If there is aught I may assist you with, do come again. Ring of Exaltation. Let's have a look. A ring imbued with power slightly boosts maximum health. I think we're already wearing one of those, aren't we? Yeah. Indeed we are. Give it to Leon, he can make use of it. Hey, I seem to be right on top of. Ah, here we go. Shakir's in. Well met. You are come to Shakir's Inn, a place of respite for the weary traveller. You will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated to the foremost hospitality in all Vernworth. Ugh, 2,000 to rest. It's ridiculous. Organised storage. Deposit. <clears throat> hmm. I could just sell that, really. I'm not actually 100% sure why I'm so heavy at the moment. Well, we've got ore. Stability extract, a concoction of natural medicines. A something's weighing me down. Could just be that I'm, my arm is upgraded and heavier, maybe. <clears throat> What's Leon looking like? See, he's average, and he's <laughs> he's carrying a pack of seven kilograms. Yeah, he's not actually carrying that much. Actually, I might withdraw that sort of stuff. And if we can't combine it, we'll just... Uh... Yeah, well, that's made me heavy, picking all that stuff up. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. You know where to find me. The solution is you. Ooh, this could get a bit tedious. A
Yeah, those half spuds are just usable. We can't seem to combine those with anything. We're carrying 11 of them around. Consume over a small amount of stamina. Yeah, just get rid of those, I think. Right, let's get a shift on, see if we can get some action going, people. Um, let's quickly go visit a shop. After you, Arisen. Need anything? Well, I'll sell you all my half spuds because that's annoying me. And Yeah, we need to be cooking these, don't we, really? Rotten house, bud. Well, the dried fruit can't go off, presumably. That raw brunt was... Some rare stuff. Thirteen salubrious drafts. Blight and debilitation. Uh, oh, that's a whole wake stone. So we should carry that, I suppose. Drink it to reduce the chance of becoming afflicted with debilitation for some time. Oh. Uh, invokes high living um, a lightning spell a medicine replete with rousing elements used it to cure sleep debilitation well I think that's as much as I can do and I'm still average Home grants the pawn specialized Shirigun specialization, whatever that is, allowing them to use the curatives of the Arisen and other allies on their own initiative. Oh, it grants a pawn specialization, yeah. Well, um, I'm assuming I use that on Leon, presumably. Stop by again soon. Um, I enjoy tackling fierce foes and prefer combat's thrills to gathering items. I am confident and may act independently. <clears throat> Very well. Use uh, Leon acquired. Ah, there we go. Leon acquired Shrigun specialization. Nice, and we got some G's for it. Seems reasonable. Ep That's my bespoke bow, that is. Right, okay. Well, not overly sure why we're still average. I think what I'll do is I shall give Leon half of these. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm hardly carrying anything and I'm average, so I've got no idea what it is that's weighing me down. Possible my armor just got heavier because I uh, upgraded it or something. I don't know. Right. Okay. Let's pick a direction to go in. Let's get on with some stuffs, people. 
a remove the uh, marker maybe. Raise. So which one first? Well, me feels like there's kind of two in that direction. So maybe do these ones first. Let's do this one first. To the left, to the left, let's do Beyonce. Mind you, we can mark them all, to be fair. One, two, three. Get it a bit more on the money if I can. <laughs> there we go. Hey, uh, well that looks like a way out. Oh, that's it. I've had enough. Clear off, and don't come back till you're ready to do business properly. But I've got the coin. I swear it. I simply just. Is that the lad we saved? Where is it then, eh? Bring the coin, all of it, or I'll call the sentinels on you again. Are we clear? It is uncommon for a lad of his age to be unable to shop on his own. Mayhap we ought to lend him a hand, Master. Oh, tis you. You're a welcome sight. Forgive my boldness. But I have a small favor to ask of you. Would you be willing to lend me some gold? I swear you'll be repaid in full. Uh, what do you need it for? A trinket in yon shop caught my eye. A small, ornate box of exceptional craftsmanship. Alas, it would seem I do not have the coin on hand to purchase it. I can certainly procure the gold later, but by then the box might be gone. If you'd be kind enough to lend me the amount I need, I would repay every last coin. Yes? Is there aught I can do for you? Or could it be that you've reconsidered my request? Uh, yes. Give the gold. Are you sure? Oh, many thanks. I shall repay you anon. You've my word. Okay. Not you again. I thought I made myself quite clear. Ah, but I've brought the gold this time. I assume that changes things. Oh, well, I. If you've got the gold, then you're welcome to spend it. This is the one you've been eyeing, isn't it? Go on then, take it. My thanks. I finally have what I came for. And worry not, you'll have your coin back in good time, I promise you. He seems a young man of decent character. The ornate box. I believe his promise to repay you was a genuine one. Receive recompense from Sven in a few days' time. All right, okay. Hey, how do we get round to... Blimey, look at that for a world, people. Good grief. Wow, it's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Check that out. That's fantastic. I'll tell you what though, it's panning really nice as well. Genuinely don't get what the hoo-ha is about on the frame rates. <laughs> it's probably the best best running non-60 FPS game I've seen in my life. 
different combinations of materials result in different creations. Yeah. Could be doing myself a disservice with the weight here, but anyway. Uh, oh, I'm going the wrong way. I th I'm not overly sure I can... I feel like I might have to go over that bridge to get to that. Oh, hello. There's a big bloody griffin or something up there, look, in the sky. Check that out. It might be of use. I seem to be getting somewhat closer. <laughs> I'm going to have to fight it. Materials yonder just waiting to be harvested. Oh, wow, that's quite a discovery. Hey, right, I think I've come unstuck here a little bit. We might have to do three first. <laughs> I, I think if we're going to go and do those two, I think we have to, might have to go over that bridge there. Uh, yeah, that, there's no path that seems to take us over there. We'd need to go over there. And I, th uh, saying that, that doesn't look like the bridge, does it? We'd have to go here. Which is there. All right, maybe not. I don't know, that looks like a broken bloody road to me. But... Alright, let's get onto a road and then follow it. Hey, get a lift. writings could be of import it couldn't hurt to take a peek Ooh, lantern oil Well, we are heading toward the number three again. Yeah. Yeah, I think my thought process was right. I think uh, that's the marker we got to. Oh, I can't seem to get onto it now. We'll head to three first. Exclamation mark. Ox carts make for relatively safer travel. They can be most convenient, though they travel only during the day. Ah, oh, this is the writings it was talking about. In the event of a monster attack upon the city, citizens are advised to flee the vicinity and take refuge in a safe location. Yeah, that exclamation mark's gone now. So I mustn't have been... I mustn't... In the previous ones that I've mentioned in other episodes, I, I mustn't be doing something to make them go away. Or maybe some of them don't and they're just constantly there, but... Down there. We're all of differing vocations, aren't we? <laughs> our respective abilities are unique as well. We must each of us own our skills. 
A jack of all trades is a master of none. That's quite cool, isn't it? He's actually talking about the fact that we're all different. And I specifically picked people that were all different vocations. Oh, wow. It's in here. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. Yeah, the gets them, ow, as they say. ow, ow. Hmm, I don't think we need rotten scrag beast, do we? Just gonna weigh us down for no reason. Where the frack is it? Look at there. Yeah. Be quite nice to know what you're gathering before you pick it up sometimes. Ow. Let my Ow. Impugue your weapon with the fury of the elements. Well, my curiosity's up now in this uh, sewer. Any loot coin about? Enough to make me rich. Mm. Oh, it's, it is telling you actually before I pick it up. Look, well that one is anyway. Rotten scrag beast, which we don't want. I've been left to fight. We are under attack! Yeah. It was all over by the time I figured out what I was doing. There's a ladder there. Ooh, gold. No, it wasn't Monster Fang actually. This ladder can take us to new heights. Perhaps new Ninety RC above. and ripened Princess Harspud. A can we shoot it? Thank you. <laughs> That'll do. Meanwhile, back in Gotham, let's get back on track. I'm inclined not to just run aimlessly toward the marker because the world is so beautiful. I just want to look around the... Uh, around the areas and find battles and some beautiful music to run around to as well. I'm not really sure if I'm meant to kill these or not. I feel bad killing deer. Would never do to me. Wow. Looks like a harpoon up there, doesn't it? It could be the harpoon, actually, that killed the griffin at the beginning of the game. Battle.
has impeccably timed arisen. Camp. Yon chest is in a place not easily accessed. I can divine no way to reach it. It's one of those rift stones where you can get special replacement type people. Well, unique pawns, I think it said, or something like that. It'll either be a unique pawn or it'll be some one off thing. go. Slightly higher level these people aren't they? Level 9 and they don't cost anything either. Doesn't seem to be any rogues does it? <laughs> that one there? Yeah there's one. Angel, level 7. Mind you, I think ours is level 6. So I don't think she's uh, that much higher. But she could be somewhat having some somewhat unique abilities, I suppose. Main pawn. <laughs> <laughs> For want of a better word, a uh, better name. Level 8 mage might actually be better than the one we've got. I am attentive and loyal and prefer to remain by your side. In battle, I shall follow your lead and prioritize support. Yeah, Levin, Magic Bolt, Anodin, Palladium. Yeah, she's doing more attack stuff than she is. Uh... Yeah, so she's not, she's not doing any support stuff. She tends to be doing actual attacking stuff. Apart from healing. She's good though. She's got a lot of attack moves. Level 9. Pleasure to meet you. Holy shit, she's got loads of stuff. Oop, steady. Yeah, there's a boon. Chance to cast his weapon. Yeah, so they've got a boon and... Yeah, that's a better one, isn't it? Zio Kui. And we'll swap out the big guy, I think. Uh, no, not a zoo. The frack do I pick on? All right. <laughs> he was so big, I, my eyes were like, couldn't adjust to what the fuck was happening. Yeah, that's yellow. He was level eight.
Uh, have yourself a salubrious draft, my friend. The time of our partying is come. Thank you for everything, Arisen. Are you fit to travel? Then let's not dawdle. I mean, that makes me think that I should replace Zia, because I think Zoo is level 6. But there's level 9 folk in here. But the only... The only rogue type one I could see was level 7. Yeah, Angel. Don't have to be rogues right enough. Matty's level 8. Sword and Shield. Level 9, Sword and Shield. Sword and Shield. Alright. That is... Hello. <laughs> is it me you're looking for? Fuck it. That'll do for now. Zoo, you can stay. A troubling rumor has reached my ears, and methinks I ought to share it. It is said there is an illness Fors can contract beyond the rift that inflicts unspeakable harm on those around them. As it progresses, the pawn gradually loses all self control, and in time will even cease to heed the Arisen's commands. That sounds most unpleasant. I do hope we shall remain free of it. Ooh, five explosive arrows. Thank you very much indeed. Bloody hell. It's worth coming into, isn't it? It's chests everywhere. Waking powder. Fruit roborunt. Thunderous Concord. I'll teach them a lesson, One can see far Yeah, it's distance. the big uh, catapult. Perhaps we might take a moment to savor the scene. I suppose it is so. All the way back down again now. Oh, fucking hell. Jesus. Not like that. Oh, oh, is that not all the way down? Right, onward. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's one of those, isn't it? I don't know how exciting it is for you guys to watch me just meander around, but I'm, just, I'm loving just investigating the world. Let's go down by the riverside. Also, when it says things like, you must go to every corner of the world to find all these coins and stuff, you think, Christ, we don't want to not go anywhere, do you? Yeah, we're going the wrong way again. I do realise that. Is this the way we started? I don't think it is. Pegs? Yeah, I don't remember these. Yeah, 
there's a battle up there. Whoa, what the fuck was that? Oh, nice, got fire. Ooh, he was a beast, wasn't he? Saurian scale. Yeah, she's immediately getting me thumbs up. Imbuing me weapon straight off the bat. And there's to be Leon's is glowing as well. I say we collect as much as we can carry. Nice. Jesus Christ, I've actually gone well over the hour mark. I didn't even notice. I've got that into it. Eight hundred and fifty gold. Thank you very much. Ow. Uh, she's trying to heal me, actually, I think. Or somebody was. Hey, I think we decided there was a few fights up there, didn't we? We go in all these houses. Pray, allow me to open your chest. Panacea. The false arisen. Oh, where the false arisen, these imposters are undeserving of your benefaction. Do not let them swindle you. I grant you fire's blaze. Use it well. Nice. Yeah, need to get a bit more close up and personal with your bows and give them a kick in the face, man. That was quite good fun. <laughs> this is generally used as a material. Different combinations of materials result in different creations. Whoa, hello. Ow. Yeah, she held him down there. It's quite cool. Stamina's down. Yeah. 
Ooh, Jesus Christ, check that move out. Massive ice move. Christ almighty. We prevailed by the skin of our teeth. What fails to destroy us only enhances our chances against future adversaries. You're well fond of picking things up, aren't you? <laughs> Look, I can't not loot things, okay? And now I'm heavy again. You ain't heavy. Well, can we make anything? No, not with that, you can't. I can't seem to combine anything. Um, that's weird. Why can't I come do any combining? Surely an apple. I'm sure one of those and an apple did something earlier. Uh, let's give Zoo a bunch of our. Uh, no, not those. I'm going to give Leon these. Actually, I could give Leon all the enhanced equipment stuff right enough. He's getting... Oh, he's average still. Actually, I'm average again now as well. Don't need half this stuff, do we? I think it saves it every time I come out the menu, but uh, I'm assuming a I'm assuming a save and continue. If I reload that, it'll just be me stood here. But I've got no idea. Oh, hello. Nice. Location level up. Nice. Four. Who's this badger here? Chest. Have you forgotten something arisen? You're looking rather lost. 400 shiny gold. I think I prefer gold at this point than anything else because I can buy nice shiny new stuffs. <clears throat> Holy shit. Pawns are rendered immobile when their health falls to zero and are unable to stir from where they have fallen without aid. If you leave your pawn in an immobile state for a prolonged length of time, they become forfeit and will be forcibly removed from your party. The Arisen can attempt to revive a pawn by approaching them and touching them. If multiple pawns lie immobile in the vicinity, the Arisen can revive them simultaneously. The maximum health of a revived pawn will be equal to the Arisen's remaining health. I could have done no better. Here are some magic, so it's your disposal. Wait. 
gonna die. Basically, I died because I was trying to pick them up. I had loads of health before I did that. Well, we'll see where the last save is then. Should be stood on that road. How quick will it load? That's our first death, I think. Pretty short. No, well, it is, because I've not tried to reload the game ever, ever since I started it. Yeah, well, there you go. Well, that's proved the pudding. So this is exactly where... Uh, where you save it is exactly where you uh, get put back, which is awesome. So, I think actually that's not a bad place to wrap it up and begin the next part then. Because we know that we can start straight from here, even if I don't record straight away after this. And we know there's a battle over to our left. I think I'll probably have to get that chest again. Yeah, so there's a chest to get there. And hmm, possibly I'd have to redo all that bloody dumping of items. Because <laughs> I didn't, I think I saved it. Did I save it? Well, I'm still average. Well, there you are, folks. I think we should wrap it up for that, for that part. I'm thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying this game, people. It is absolutely superb, and I think it's playing beautifully. Certainly on the Xbox Series X, anyway. Well, there you are, folks. It has been an honour and a privilege serving for you once again in Dragon's Dogma 2 on the Xbox Series X. And I shall catch you in the next one, folks. Take it easy. Bye. Different masters, favour different pawns.